Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. Within the collective there is a karmic who stalks your social media. They spend a lot of time on social media, especially watching Divine Feminines. It's like they are obsessed with keeping track of them. Now, among these karmics, there's a troubling situation. There's this lady karmic who's messing with the Divine Masculine. Even though she knows he loves his Divine Feminine deeply, she keeps throwing herself at him. It's like she can't help herself, even though it's clear he's not interested. And then there's this guy Karmic who's in a similar mess. He's mad because he knows that the person the Divine Feminine likes, likes her back. It drives him crazy to think of someone else having that connection with her. It seems like both of these karmics are really fixated on the intimate side of the relationship between Divine Feminines and Masculines. They can't stop thinking about it, even though it's none of their business. It's like they are carrying around some deep wounds or unresolved issues from their past. Maybe they've been hurt before, and it's making them act out now. But in the end, these karmic dramas show us something important. They remind us that relationships can be messy and complicated. And they teach us that it's important to deal with our own issues instead of getting tangled up in other people's lives. Because only then can we move forward and find real love and understanding. These karmics are super possessive and want to have full control over the divine counterparts. They want to control everything about the divine counterparts, like they own them. Some of them are even doing dark stuff like black magic to keep the divine masculine and divine feminine under their control. It's like they refuse to let go, even though they know deep down that the Divine Counterparts don't want to be with them anymore. They are holding on to these loveless relationships as if their lives depend on it, not facing the truth. There's this lady karmic who's especially toxic. She's encouraging the Divine Masculine's bad habits, pushing him to lose control. It's like she enjoys seeing him mess up, making a spectacle of himself for everyone to see. Her actions are mean, driven by a need to have power over him. It's like she finds joy in his suffering, thinking she's doing it out of love when she's really not. It's sad to see the Divine Masculine stuck in her trap unable to break free from her manipulative hold. He is caught in a cycle of destruction, with no way out. But there's a little light in the darkness. Despite what the karmics want, the divine counterparts are starting to see their own strength. They are beginning to see through the lies and take back control of their lives. It's a tough road ahead, but every step they take toward freedom brings them closer to real love and happiness. And in the end, it's this journey of finding themselves that will lead them to where they belong. In the mess of relationships, the Lady Karmic hits a new low. She not only tries to control the Divine Masculine, but also enjoys making fun of his deepest fears. It's like she finds pleasure in putting him down, even spreading gossip about him to her family and friends, including people they both know. These karmics are really tough. 
they do anything to come out on top, even if it means hurting others. For them, winning means having complete power over the divine counterparts and ruining their chances of being together. But here's the thing they can try all they want, but they'll never succeed in stopping what's meant to be. These divine connections are guided by something higher, something special and protected. No matter how hard the karmics try to slow things down, they won't be able to stop them. It's like trying to stop the ocean with a bucket. Their efforts are useless in the face of the bigger plan. Yet, despite knowing this, the karmics keep trying to mess things up for the divine counterparts. They throw themselves at the divine counterparts, hoping to distract them from each other. But instead of driving them apart, their actions only make the bond between them stronger. It's like they are unintentionally bringing the divine counterparts closer together with every misguided move. In the end, the karmics can't beat the power of true love. They might cause chaos and pain, but they won't win over the unbreakable connection between the divine counterparts. And as they keep getting in the way, they only prove that the divine union is bound to happen. Their cards have a message for you about money and your lifestyle. They're saying it's not a good time to spend big or invest in anything. You might regret it later, and some people already do. If someone has hurt you or you've lost something, don't worry. The cards say whatever you lost will come back to you somehow. So, don't lose hope. But there's good news too. It looks like you'll be getting more money soon. Maybe through taxes, a raise, or a promotion. It's something to celebrate and feel happy about. Just be careful. The cards suggest not rushing into things. It's okay to try new things, but take your time and think carefully before making big money decisions. Remember, the universe has a plan for you. Trust that things will work out, and don't be afraid to ask for advice if you need it. Hey there! If you're thinking about splurging on that new car and figuring out your budget, Go ahead and treat yourself. It's important to enjoy the rewards of your hard work every now and then. But for those who are still waiting for their financial breakthrough, hang in there. Financial freedom is on its way, just around the corner, ready to bring you relief and joy. Now, let's talk finances. It seems like someone is interested in investing in you. Isn't that exciting? It's like they see your potential and want to be part of your success story. So, if the opportunity feels right and aligns with your goals, why not give it a shot? Trust your gut and seize the chance if it resonates with you. And guess what? There's also a new business idea brewing in the background. How thrilling is that? 
It's like the universe is nudging you towards entrepreneurship, urging you to explore new paths and unleash your creativity. So, don't ignore those sparks of inspiration. Embrace them and see where they take you. But if you're feeling unsure or hesitant, that's okay too. It's important to listen to your inner voice and take things one step at a time. Sometimes, the best decisions come from taking a moment to reflect and weigh your options. So, don't rush into anything. Take your time to make the right choice for you.